It's another episode of the Locked On Coyotes podcast. The city of Tempe has put out a statement and has clapped back at Phoenix and Sky Harbor. We're going to break down what they said on today's episode of Locked On Coyotes. Your Locked On Coyotes, your daily podcast on the Arizona Coyotes, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome to the show, everyone, to this wonderful episode of Locked On Coyotes, brought to you by Bet Online. Bet Online has you covered this season with more props, odds, and lines than ever before. Bet Online is where the game starts. This is a great episode. I want to thank everyone for tuning in and making this show your first listen every day. We are free and available on all platforms. I'm Robin Leonio. Carl Pavlock is right beside me on today's episode of Locked On Coyotes. Again, it's a great show on today's episode because we are talking about a statement set out you know uh, put out by the uh, city of Tempe mayor Corey Woods regarding the development and essentially what a a uh, negative campaigning from the city of Phoenix and uh and Sky Harbor Airport and it is a doozy call we're going to get we're going to get the statement in a moment but first I'm going to just get your initial reactions um before we put the you know share of everybody i mean honestly it wasn't something that i was expecting to come out today um when we're recording this um which is thursday october 6th um just for posterity um kind of came out of nowhere i was unaware that they were engaged with a mailer campaign uh, i am surprised that you know they would go that route it seems like such a like especially this time of year where it's like election season, like to kind of throw people this information for an issue that's, I don't think it's an election issue for like any candidate or anything. Uh, it just feels like a weird move by Phoenix Sky Harbor. I'm sure they have better things that they could be working on. Uh, I was just in Sky Harbor a couple weeks ago. Uh, it wasn't that great. There's definitely things that they could be doing better there. So yeah, do that. Absolutely. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and share a statement put out by by Mayor Woods, and uh, I'm going to read the first bit. Carl's going to going to go ahead and uh, follow afterwards on a little bit more. But here is what Mayor Woods had to say. This week, thousands of households in Tempe and across the valley received a mailer from the city of Phoenix and Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport regarding the proposed Tempe Entertainment District at Priest Drive and Rio Salado Parkway. In the mailer, Phoenix alleges that multifamily housing in the proposed development would violate a 1994 agreement our cities signed. The mailer is significantly inaccurate that people interested in living at the proposed site would be well informed before making decisions, just like thousands of other Tempe Town Lake adjacent residents who have already chosen to live in an area with aircraft noise. Moreover, they do so in developments that saw no opposition from the airport when they were proposed and built. As mayor of Tempe, I reject this alarmist tactic. Our region is known for collaboration and responsible action. It is unprecedented for a neighboring city to stuff mailboxes with its opinion about an unapproved development project. As Tempe said more than a year ago in issuing a request for proposals on this site, we take seriously our duty to act responsibly and maintain the livability of our community, and we did so when issuing this request for proposals. While there is no, not yet a development agreement with the proposer, negotiations are underway and parties are prop- properly will be addressing the issue of aircraft noise in any agreements that result. But time, the Time for public decisions is yet to come, and when it arrives, the Tempe City Council will conduct an open and transparent process with the interests of our community front and center. This is not a game, and Tempe residents should not be used as pawns. No one should try to manipulate our community's basic feelings of safety and security. As mayor, 
I am calling out this outrageous tactic in hopes that it is not repeated and that all interested parties can consider this important matter calmly and reasonably. Please review Tempe's detailed response to Sky Harbor Aviation Director. In short, it is Tempe's opinion that multifamily residential development is permitted within the area proposed for the project submitted to certain noise mitigation measures and land use requirements imposed by Tempe City Code. So that is the statement Mayor Woods of the City of Tempe put out. Um, Carl, he mad mad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The the this is not a game. Uh, Tempe residents should not be used as pawns. Um, calling it an alarmist tactic, like that is just a lot. Um, and you know, it, it sounds like this is going out to other people than just Tempe, which is kind of weird. Uh, I live in Phoenix. I haven't gotten anything about it, but I'm nowhere near the airport, so I wonder if they just don't consider me important enough for it but yeah it's definitely a definitely a thing to see it definitely is and it makes me you know think about the um obviously the entire process and obviously you can tell that tempe is not rattled by this you know they're trying to you know they want to make sure that you know the process goes through how they planned it to go through right yeah. you know they're still discussing with the Arizona Coyotes with Bluebird Development, which is what Morello's like develop, you know, um, yeah, development company, um, and like they're, you know, it's crazy to see how much opposition there is, and because Mayor Woods made a point, right? There are so many, so much, so much apartment developments right there along Rio Salado Parkway next to Tempe Town Lake. Yep. Uh, I do like the fact that uh, when you were reading it, I really noticed it. It doesn't mention the Arizona Coyotes at all um, mm -hmm. because it's not about them. It is about this, you know, entertainment district. It is about multifamily housing, kind of framing it like that, saying that like, hey, you're going after the housing specifically. I think that it's really going to play. Uh, I know everyone in the greater Phoenix area is concerned about housing right now. Rental prices are going up. Um, it is you know, a housing crisis. Uh, the park next door to me has a fairly moderately sized tent city there. Like housing is a big thing for people. Like, and this puts housing like right in the crosshairs. Absolutely. And it really makes, and, and, and that's the thing, right? Cause um, everyone does, everyone wants, affordable housing right and that's what this development wants too is like yeah of course there's going to be luxury housing but we also want affordable housing uh, yeah. i don't know what affordable housing is for tempe standards because tempe stands tempe is an expensive place to live especially at the lakeside um yeah but yeah yeah uh i i remember once i was told that a studio in tempe was going to cost me a grand and i was like ah, that's fun yeah um, no <laughs> But, but yeah, uh, to your point, like affordable housing is definitely something that, you know, they are really banking on. I think that, you know, it was a requirement that the city of Tempe have housing, which to me kind of says that they were anticipating this because. Yeah. Like, and like I think that, another, thing, another thing to consider, too, is even though, you know, these apparent like from what we're gathering is these mailers are specifically attacking, attacking that housing aspect of it, you know, um, like I'm really, sh I'm like I'm pretty sure the um, they just also don't want you know like an entertainment entertainment complex there because they're afraid it's gonna take away away potential people on that side of the city, <laughs> uh, side of the uh, valley. I mean, potentially, um, it it definitely could be a thing where Phoenix is concerned about you know travel. Uh, I I do think that you know as the coyotes uh pointed out in their presentation like the airport is considering expanding uh it's been made very public about that they're just not saying that they want to lengthen that runway that is right next to where it is yeah yeah and, and that is like 
you know, it's very good of them to not call that out. Like, because this is like the city of Phoenix and Sky Harbor Airport seemingly working together to stop this. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm glad that Tempe is making this stand that they are and be like, look, this does not violate the IGA. And um, again, we still haven't approved the project yet. And they're making sure they're making sure that's known because they're standing in defense of the proposal. But they're also like, but look, it's not approved yet. We still got a lot of deci- other decisions to make. You know, it's um, but, you know, you sh- this is the last thing you should be. At. You, you should you should be go- you should be attacking. Yeah, this this is not the t- this is not a tactic that we want you to use uh and the city of tempe understands that you know they're opposed to it but mailers is a different thing and they are definitely treating it like it is absolutely we're going to go put up our finishing thoughts about this um this statement by by mayor woods of the city of tempe in just a moment but first i do have to turn to carl for a quick word so i have a message from our friends at bet online BetOnline.net is your number one source for football betting information this season. You can find all the latest player developments, team matchups, news, podcasts, and in-depth articles and analysis on every game you can find. And as always, BetOnline remains your continued source for all your sports wagering information with live betting and up-to-the-minute scores for every sport out there. It's the fastest and easiest way to check all of your favorite games and events, including MLB, MMA, boxing, golf, and hockey. Head to betonline.net or use your mobile device to learn more. Bet online, where the game starts. All right, so Carl, let's go ahead and get some final thoughts on this and put up with a couple other things. Um, you kind of brought it up that it's interesting that the city of Phoenix and Sky Harbor, you know, jointly are putting out mailers, given the fact that it's, you know, it, I mean, the public does somewhat still have a say, but it's really up to the city council, right? There's no, like, like you said it, right? You know, we are an election year, but this is not an election, like, issue. Yeah, uh, I I know that like it's not a universally accepted issue on the on the city council. I know there's candidates who are leaving who support it, and well, they've already who, left. But. Or yeah, and yeah, it just I I don't know. Like it feels like you're doing something that's going to get lost in the shuffle, but also like, what else are you going to do? Like, I I don't know. Yeah, um, and it's really interesting to see what this tactic is. Um, maybe they're trying to get people to go to whatever the next public event is, but yeah. at the same time, like, and I'm, and, I, and I'm going to tell people right now, when the, when the call that the public meeting happens, the decision will already be 99% made. Yeah. Uh, I think there's going to be like another public presentation before they vote maybe they just want people to like ground swell and be like hey we are really pissed about this we're gonna call our local person uh i i have not seen one of the mailers yet um so i don't know how scary it is but yeah you know if anything i think there's maybe a chance that someone like myself can get it given my pro- closer proximity yeah um because I'm like literally one freaking like a block or two away from from Tempe, but I, I would I would definitely be interested to see like kind of where they're targeting, like who they're targeting, because if you're putting it, you know, in the area where it's going to be built, like those are people who are going to know all about like noise issues living near the airport, um, and they're like, put- okay, yeah, we 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 know this. Are you going to try and turn like Southern Tempe against Northern Tempe? I I, I really don't understand this tactic. Uh, I do like how this all kind of goes back to that intergovernmental agreement. Like mm-hmm. it, it, it's mentioned as being specifically in the mailer. Um, the, the fact that Sky Harbor and the city of Phoenix are basically saying that they will drop any kind of pretense about this being a safety issue if they just like 
the city of Tempe agrees to end that agreement and they could do it, do it. That to me always struck me as like, this is dirty. Uh, I don't like what you're doing. The fact that this agreement is taking, you know, any kind of role over safety or this is a safety concern that is being like, you know, overblown. I don't like that, especially from an airport. Like we kind of need them to be safe. We need them to, you know, shoot straight with that. Plus, let's also remember that um, both, um, or, you know, we'll call it, we'll, we'll, we won't say the coyotes, because it's not, te- technically, it's like we said, it's Bluebird. Yep. Um, Bluebird and Tempe will be prepared for a lawsuit. Yeah. Right. And, and it, it looks like they're getting that aggressive. So expect that to also happen. Yeah. And it could kind of be like a way to like just kind of prime the ground for, for people to be like, hey, we're going to sue, but we're going to tell you that we're going to sue first. So you can like just kind of not be surprised by that and see kind of what the reaction is from the public. If the public is like, hey, man, you just got us sued. What the heck? Um, now we're wasting lawsuit money on this. Um, it could be a rallying cry for you know, elected officials. I know, I, I think what one state representative has complained about the deal. Um, yeah. One, the state representative, I think representing a, a, a district in Tempe, I, bet, I think. Yeah. Look, I, I'm not saying that this deal is perfect in any ways. I'm not saying that there's not valid criticism. I'm not saying that we shouldn't look at everything about it yeah i mean look safety and noise and you know and um you know airport uh, airport traffic control are all extremely important discussions to have um but at the same time you know that's part of what the negotiation process is about right so like if but if phoenix doesn't want to play ball they're just you know if they're going to the people, that is to me kind of like one of those things where I'm like, that's that's weird. Uh, I I like to think of myself as a man of the people, so it's not necessarily bad to do that. But you know, when you're looking for like a populist upswing, like I do, kind of question your motives, um, especially like I said, I haven't gotten to see what the pamphlet says. Uh, I live in Phoenix. I don't necessarily trust Phoenix uh, for a lot of things. Uh, that's just kind of my position. I am in this city. Uh, sometimes I feel like the city does not represent me. That's fair. That is absolutely fair. Anything else you want to share about this uh, issue? I am just very thrilled with the enthusiastic support that you know, this project is getting from Tempe. Like if it was a tepid response, that would have been one thing. Uh, If it was no response, we probably wouldn't have even heard about this issue uh, unless like it got viral on Twitter, which, you know, the fact that it didn't kind of says everything that I needed it to like, Mm -hmm. because, you know, there are plenty of forces who would happily spread this story like if if there was a viral like meme about mailers about the Tempe thing that would spread over hockey Twitter in a second, uh, it didn't. The story that got out was the city of Tempe mayor very calmly but very assertively saying, "Hey, this is messed up. Don't do it." Yeah, pretty much. Um, and I'm glad that statement was made because obviously, like you know, um, I'm not a fan of overtly aggressive uh passive aggressive <laughs> um tactics yeah it's a it, it's definitely like eh, it, it's a it's a good thing to call out uh yeah. I, again i i'm just very surprised by like what was what was the plan like mailers they're not you know free you have to pay someone to print them. Mm-hmm. You have to pay someone to, to drop them off. Like why, why mailers in October of 2022 for a airport entertainment issue? I just don't get it. 
Yeah. Um, I really don't know. I really don't know. But, you know, again, we're still, what, a couple months probably away from a, even a decision being made, like you said, that there's still one more meeting that should probably take place before then. Um, I, I think they wanted it done by the end of the year or maybe like soon after. So they, I, I, I'm, If I'm not mistaken, I saw a report that said that they want it done by the fall. And it's technically fall now. Um, and a fall, it's a fall all the way until December. So we got a couple months. Just a couple months, and that's crazy to think that we're pretty much in the final stretch here. We're in the like the thick of it. That bit of news is just like, like you know, you got to, you know, turn through every small crevice. Yeah. Of this thing, we're we're, we're down to the wire for the first part. Then there'll be the lawsuits. Those, those are always fun to cover. Uh, and then there'll be the construction, uh, but. Once you get that agreement, that feels like it's real. Yeah. And then once the shovel hits the ground. Yep. And then once I am physically inside the building, then it's going to be real. Once you scan your ticket and you're just like you're inside. Yeah. Yeah. Anything up to that. Like it could just be like some elaborate punked. <laughs> like Ashton Kutcher comes out. And it's just like, we just punked you, Carl. I was like, I, I didn't realize you were hosting this still. Also, this seems very expensive. Can Punks! Or, or, or imagining like, every, like everyone files into the arena and then like um, all of a sudden like um, uh, Rick Ashley comes out and starts playing <laughs> Never Gonna Give You Up. I mean, I would at least in that scenario, it's like, hey, free Rick Ashley concert. Uh, <laughs> True, true. I, I kind of already put it out there, but I'll give you one more one uh, one more shot. Anything? Any final thoughts? Uh, uh, on this, no. I think I uh, think we've said all we need to say on it for now. And you know, a week from now, we'll get another story and we'll have more to talk about because it's just the way of things. Absolutely, absolutely. Of course, there's still other things to talk about uh, that we can't talk about in this episode. But I think stuff that we could probably save for uh, for next week as well sure. we got we so we got a lot of time for that but you know because of that i think we can just call it call it an episode for this uh episode of lockdown coyotes hope you guys like what you heard if you did don't forget to leave a review like comment subscribe if you have yet to already we're available everywhere you get your podcast including on youtube don't forget to interact with us on social media we're on facebook facebook.com slash locked on coyotes on instagram at locked on coyotes and on twitter l o underscore coyotes i am personally at robin underscore leonio carl pavlock is at carl pavlock ffh interact with us ask the question you might have we might answer right back or on a future episode of the locked on coyotes podcast thanks again everyone for listening to today's episode hope you're staying safe out there hope you're staying healthy and don't forget to howl on